The snowpack in California provides water for about one third of the state's people and farms. This year, that source has remained less than half of normal for this time of year statewide. State reservoirs do still hold quite a bit of water, which will help supplement the serious lack of snow in the Sierra. Director of Water Operations for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, Martin Adams, spoke to the Inyo supervisors Tuesday, and as an aside, he said that the snowpack will be, quote, below 50 percent. Adams said the water flow down the aqueduct to Los Angeles may be, quote, the lowest on record. He called it a dire year. Adams said that some are saying this could be the beginning of a 100-year dry period. Well, from experience, Owens Valley people know that means extreme pressure on the water resources of the eastern Sierra to supply Los Angeles. DWP's website shows the April 1st snow situation as well below normal in most areas. The Mammoth Pass snowpack, which is the hallmark for the Sierra, dropped down to below the long-term average, but still above last year. Snow pillow measurements show Mammoth Pass at 82% of normal. Every place else sits under 50%. Rock Creek at 17%, South Lake 39%, Big Pine Creek 32%, and Cottonwood Lakes in the South 19% of normal. Precipitation figures loom low, too. Long Valley sits at 37% of normal to date. Bishop, 20%. Big Pine, 16%. Independence, 24%. South Hayway, 12%. And Los Angeles at 43% of normal to date. Mr. Adams said that LADWP will issue more information on the water year after examining statewide and local conditions. DWP will then be setting a groundwater pumping rate for the Owens Valley. The State Department of Water Resources said that this January and February were record dry months dating back to 1895. Well, more today on the recent Mammoth Crosswalk and Pedestrian Sting by Mammoth Police. Commenters on our website agreed that crossing Highway 203 or Main Street in Mammoth Lakes is hazardous. Police Chief Dan Watson said dialogue about the issue and public awareness does make a difference in safety. Chief Watson said he had participated in a number of pedestrian safety operations down south. The chief said, quote, one reason we do them is to get the word out to the public. When someone gets a citation, he said, they do drive more safely for a period of time. The chief said pedestrians need to pay attention to crosswalks at the fire station and the post office come with hazards. In the winter, the marked crosswalks are sometimes obscured by snow and grime, but there is a flashing yellow light that pedestrians can activate. The lights do not require the driver to stop, but signal them to slow down. The chief said it is true pedestrians do have the legal right of way once they step off the curb. In fact, the chief himself was one of the pedestrian walkers in the sting. He said that a high percentage of drivers did yield to pedestrians. Chief Watson added that while pedestrians do have the right of way, they also have an obligation to look at the driver of passing cars to see if they are noticing the person about to cross the street. Chief Watson echoed previous statements by Caltrans that marked crosswalks can also give pedestrians a false sense of confidence and the inclination to just walk out into the crosswalk without looking. Both drivers and pedestrians really have to pay attention. One of our website commenters had complained that the eastbound flashing light at the post office was not working. Just to let you know, Chief Watson said he will follow up with Public Works. And back to the Director of Water Operations for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, that's Martin Adams, had hit the public relations trail recently to sell LA's latest plan for the Owens Dry Lake. The bottom line, DWP will spend the money to protect bird habitat there if 
they can quit cleaning up dust on the Owens Dry Lake. He pitched the Inyo supervisors with LA's wishes. DWP's plans continued with an historic trend to pit environmental interest against one another in the hallmark divide and conquer tactic. Adams said if more water is used on the dry lake, there will be less water for ranchers and others. It was Inyo Supervisor Rick Pucci who hit on the underlying point when he said there must be trust on both sides. He said to Adams, I trust you, but I don't know that I trust DWP. Pucci said there has to be a certain level of truth. He said there must also be compromises made to reach commonality. Supervisor Chair Linda Arcularius told Adams that there has to be a level of certainty regarding water for Owens Valley ranchers. She said this would contribute to the level of trust Mr. Pucci spoke about. Ranchers Scott Kemp, Tom Nolan, and Mark Lacey did speak at the meeting and they pointed to the lack of water spread on the valley floor. They think it's because LA has to put more water on the dry lake to control dust. Well, that's what DWP has said. But what no one did say is that the use of water is DWP's choice. State and federal law and signed agreements have forced LA to clean up the massive dry lake dust pollution, but they choose the method. Water is cheapest. Nancy Masters of the Owens Valley Committee pointed to the long-term water agreement, which says DWP must continue the water to ranchers as it was in the 81-82 runoff year. Masters said, why is stock water being affected? We need to make sure the ranching community is receiving water pursuant to the water agreement. In fact, the Inyo supervisors have failed to address that issue. Masters also said that even if DWP saves water at the dry lake, there is no assurance they will leave that water in the Owens Valley for ranchers or anyone else. Supervisor Jeff Griffiths pointed out that the supervisors have no control over the Air Pollution Control District, the state, or the courts, which have jurisdiction over dust control. Supervisor Kevin Tillemans pointed to LA's land ownership that has fatally damaged Owens Valley from economic development. Supervisor Matt Kingsley pointed to DWP possibly sidestepping the Owens Lake Master Plan Committee. Well, Mr. Adams promised no economic development. He did say that what will happen to water savings will, quote, be addressed. Adams will apparently return with a more complete plan in a couple of weeks, and we'll have more comments at Tuesday's board meeting on later broadcasts. And when we come back, how not to be distracted while you're driving right after this.